Bob. Hey everybody, this is Chris from the Summary Software team. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to boot and image an M1 Mac with the latest version of Recon ITR. So if you haven't already, go ahead and watch our previous video on how you can get your ITR updated to the latest version. And uh, once that's done, uh, the only thing that you really have to do is mount the drive, uh, your T7 drive, on the Mac that you're looking to acquire. Uh, go ahead and uh, turn it on and hold the power button, and it should pop up with a little small uh, window or a little small message that says loading startup options. Uh, so once that's done and you let that process finish, it'll go ahead and put you in the screen that you're looking at now uh, with all of the connected drives that are available as bootable options. So you don't have to do anything as far as disabling SIP or uh, disabling any of the boot level securities in order to get Imager to work. Uh, you should be basically be able to plug it in and boot to it as expected. So go ahead and select Recon Imager Mode M and hit continue. You'll get this little Apple logo right here with a little loading bar and it should pop you into a version of macOS recovery mode. It's going to go ahead and examine the connected volumes to find a admin user that you can authenticate with. So go ahead and select the admin user that you know the password for and hit next. Then you're gonna go ahead and type in the password and hit enter. And it's gonna launch up this little uh, recon underscore launcher and ask you to select this button right here to launch recon imager. So go ahead and hit that and basically give it a couple seconds here. So uh, at this point, you can kind of review your documentation or you can uh, watch one of our other videos if you haven't already or tune into your favorite episode of the Summary Podcast. So just give it a little bit right here and it should pop up with the uh, language selector where it asks you to select your preferred language, mine being English. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit select and it's going to pop up with this loading recon imager bar right here. So at this point, uh, it's just going to load the uh, disk manager screen of Recon Imager, where you're going to look through and try to identify which disk you're going to go after as far as imaging. So we're going to be looking at the synthesized disk, which is going to be uh, disk 3 for most of the M1 Max, and we're going to want to look at the specific partition that you're looking at imaging by uh, searching for the one that has the dash data uh, at the end. So in my case, that's going to be disk 3 slice 1. Uh, if it is file vault decrypted at this time, uh, you would have either been um, notified by Recon Imager when you loaded in that file vault is enabled on one of the six partitions here. Uh, so you would basically just select this and hit the decrypt button in order to uh, decrypt the file vault on it and authenticate with the admin password. Uh, but in my case, I don't have any fi file vault encryption to worry about, so I can just go ahead and proceed to the disk imager tab up at the top right here. So uh, if File Vault is enabled, uh, you're going to want to go ahead and uh, hit the refresh button after you decrypt. Um, in my case, it's not. So my disk 3 slice 1 is going to appear in green right here for uh, Macintosh HD dash data. I'm going to go ahead and select that, select my preferred image type, uh, and select my HFS plus or APFS formatted destination drive. And then go ahead and type in my image name for and my, uh, my case details. So at this point, uh, if everything's filled out and everything looks good, go ahead and hit the start button and you will see this little uh, image confirmation screen. Just make sure to look over the information and make sure that everything is correct and go ahead and hit yes to continue. And it'll go ahead and it'll begin loading. It'll begin creating your, your image and everything should be good after that point. So uh, thank you guys for watching. And if you guys have any ideas or any questions uh, that you guys would want to run past us, then feel free to reach out to a member of our team and we'd be more than happy to help you guys out. Uh, thanks for watching and remember to subscribe.